Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. I have gotten so many requests for this item that I, I decided, even though I know I just did a video, I thought, well, the demand is there, people want to see it, let's try it out, let's just give it a shot, let's just go right into another review, so that precisely is what I am doing today. Little Caesars has brought back their pretzel crust pizza. Now this item, I think this is, if I'm not mistaken, the second, no it's the third time I think that this item is on the Little Caesars menu. It was originally released back in the year 2014, then they brought it back for a limited time in early 2019, and now here we are in early 2023, and uh, it once again has returned. So what is the pretzel crust pizza? I think the name is pretty straightforward. I think we would all be willing to wager, just based on the name alone, that it has a pretzel crust, uh, because otherwise it would really not make any sense if it turned out that the crust was actually made out of out of boneless wings or something like that instead of pretzel, but the good news is that the name indeed is straightforward and there is no trickery going on here. So you have a large pizza. It has a buttery, soft pretzel crust. So the crust of the pizza is like a pretzel. But they, they, they up things a little bit because you know the way Little Caesars goes. They, they are bold, they are daring, and uh, they will take the risk. And that precisely is what they are doing here, because it's not just a pretzel crust. You know how sometimes when you eat a soft pretzel, you might dip it in some cheese? Well, instead of tomato sauce, you have cheddar cheese sauce on the pizza. So you have the base, you have cheddar cheese sauce, then you have mozzarella and Munster cheese sprinkled atop as your regular cheese. It's then topped with pepperoni. You have the pretzel crust, and then there is salt sprinkled atop that pretzel crust. And it is available for the price of $7 for a large pizza. So, again, it's supposed to take the experience of not just having a pretzel crust, but it's like the whole pretzel experience all in one, in pizza form. Now, I will say, this is the second time that I have reviewed this item, because I first had it back in 2019. And I'll admit, when I first tried this pizza out in 2019, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I actually re-watched the review that I did of it then, and my chief complaint back then was that I thought it was too salty. And as a result, I rated it a 6 out of 10, which isn't great, it's not terrible either, but certainly I had some complaints, and my, my biggest issue with it was that it was too salty. So we will see how things have kind of held up over the years, if it's any better, if it's any worse. Evidently, I think this pizza is a novelty, but I just want to see, well, how is it? Uh, do I like it any more or any less? And I'll try to give a rounded assessment in today's review. It should be noted, of course, with many items with Little Caesars, uh, this is certainly heavy on the calories. For this one pizza alone, it is over, I believe, 2,000 calories. And uh, for the entire pizza, the amount of sodium is in the thousands of milligrams, so just bear that in mind as well. Anyway, got the pizza here. Standard Little Caesars pizza box with the... Uh, with that thing, and it's got, looks like, looks like it's a little, um, like a little playing card or something with a, with a disc on it. I don't know if that's supposed to be a UFO or, or something, but there you have it. It's a save time machine. So, so that's what it is. It's the save time machine. And here is the pizza. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's Let's focus the camera on it, if I can. You can see from up 
point of view, at least as far as aesthetically pleasing, doesn't look bad. I would say this actually resembles the ad pretty accurately. Uh, it looks, you know, oily and greasy, but you could see that salt on the crust. You could see that almost like that orange yellow hue to the cheese. And uh, I'd say it looks, it looks as advertised. And let's get a slice. How about we go with this slice right here? Let's get a closer look. All right. Now, if you actually look real close, because sometimes it's tough to see, but do you see near the tip of the pizza, see how it looks more yellow? And then as we go further in, it looks more white. That yellow there, that is the, uh, I believe that's the cheddar cheese sauce. Because again, there's no tomato sauce, no marinara sauce, none of that. So that's the cheddar cheese sauce. You can see the glistening pepperoni. I believe the butteriness of the crust, the salt, etc. So you could see it right there. So what I'm gonna do for the sake of my dental work, I'll eat this carefully, but I will for the heck of it, take a careful bite for all of you watching, because uh, I know some people have said they've missed the, the eating segments. I know, I, I miss them too, but uh, I'll take a bite, then I'll pause the camera and we'll get to the assessment. So let's find out how good or how bad this is. The Little Caesars pretzel crust pizza going in. Just resuming things real quick, just because now you could see there's a real good look. You can see the cheddar cheese sauce right there. And I'm just going to get to the rest of the slice. All right, and now getting the camera out of focus. There we go. I tried out the slice. I have a little bit of the crust remaining. And I bring good news. My main problem back in 2019 was that the pizza was just way too salty. That was my main complaint back then. That... Obviously, it was a novelty. When I try out these sorts of novelty items, they are treated thusly. I'm not going to compare this to a regular pizza because it's supposed to be different. But I have good news. I think Little Caesars actually realized the mistake that they made in the previous versions of the pizza, and they improved upon it. It is still a very salty pizza, but what I have noticed is the cheddar cheese sauce, interestingly enough, actually has more of a potent, for lack of a better word, sharpness to it that actually counteracts some of the other saltiness that you would notice on this pizza. So as a result, in each bite, you're really, now it tastes more cheesy than it does salty uh, as you're eating the pizza itself. Of course, it's not overly crunchy or anything. It's a pretty soft pizza, uh, your standard hand-tossed variety. It's very cheesy though, and again, you could mostly taste that sharpness of the, uh, <clears throat> the cheddar cheese sauce, as well as especially the uh, mozzarella cheese atop the pizza. It's very greasy, very oily. Uh, the pepperoni gives a little bit of a spiciness to it, but nothing crazy. Pepperoni though does have a nice little crisp to it as well, so that's enjoyable. But for the pizza itself, the good news is that that cheddar cheese sauce no longer feels like it's just pure salt that you're eating, uh, but instead, again, it has this nice little sharpness that has actually brought down at least the salty taste. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still a very greasy, very oily, and yes, it is a very salty pizza, but it has gone from being something that's so salty you can't eat it and uh, find it remotely enjoyable to now just, it's a salty pizza. So that's good, that is a big improvement uh, that I notice here, that was the big problem that I had with it years ago, and it looks like they did improve upon it. As for the crust itself, uh, it is exactly as described. It looks like a pretzel, and it tastes like a pretzel. Uh, it is buttery, it's oily, it's chewy, but it's not uh, overly rubbery or anything like that. The crust is the saltiest part of the pizza, obviously, because it's sprinkled with butter, and it has the little salt crumbles as well, but uh, they match the flavor exactly where it's like if you're going to, uh, 
you know, someplace and you get a, get a soft pretzel, that's what it, that's what it tastes like. That's exactly what it tastes like. So the pizza is a novelty and you have to understand that going in. And I think most of us do, uh, that we understand and we accept that, yeah, all right, this is supposed to be like a pretzel and it's supposed to mirror the pretzel eating experience. So as a result, you're not going to be going into this thinking, well, I'm going to be expecting to taste robust tomato sauce, etc. We know, we know that we're not going to hold it to that standard. We know this isn't going to be an artisan pizza or anything like that. This is a novelty pizza from Little Caesars and uh, treat it as, as such. But again, big problem I had with it in 2019 was that it was too salty. It's still salty, but I think they've moderated it up, or moderated it enough, I should say, that uh, it's definitely tolerable now. So I would say this is one of those items that if it looks appealing and it looks good, get it. I'd say get it. Maybe this is like a one-time thing. Just get it. Ah, eh, just to try it out, see how it is. It's a novelty. Yeah, get a picture with it. Try it out with your friends, whatever you want to do, and uh, make of it what you will. But as far as eating and enjoying this goes, huge improvement from 2019, and it tastes totally fine for what it is. It all works. My problem was the saltiness. They cut it down just enough so that it's uh, much more tolerable now. Good price. It's affordable. Just $7 for this pizza. I say it's a buy. They saw the issue. They improved upon it. As a result, I'm going to be giving the Little Caesars Pretzel Crust Pizza an 8 out of 10. Novelty, treated as such, but they learned from their mistakes. Good on you, Little Caesars. You did a good job. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.